Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm giving a test on ionic and covalent bonding. If you haven't watched my teaching video, you can click over here to watch my teaching video on ionic and covalent bonding, as this will help you with the test. Please, before doing the test, pause the video, try this question in your head, and once you're finished, I'll go through the answers. So if you're ready, let's do this. Why do atoms bond together? Atoms bond together to have full outer shell of electrons. So the answer is Which group in the periodic table is not involved in the bonding? The answer is group 8. It can be called as group 8 or group 0. And the other names for group 8 are noble gas or inert gas. The word inert means non-reactive. The reason why they don't react with any other substance is because they have full outer shell of electrons. Question 2. Complete the missing words. In ionic bonding, there is transfer of electrons, which means one atom gain electron and the other atom lose electron. So this atom form into positive ion and negative ion. This opposite charged ion have attraction. This attraction can also be called as electrostatic attraction, which happen between positive and negative charge. B part. In a covalent bonding, the electrons are shared between the atoms. A double bond contains two pairs of electrons or four electrons in the overlap. Obviously, if there are two pairs of electrons, then in total there are four electrons and that represents a double bond. Question 3. State whether this compound have ionic or covalent bonding. Before doing this, you should know that ionic bonding happen between metals and non-metals and covalent bonding happen between non-metals only. So for water, H2O, hydrogen is a non-metal and oxygen is a non-metal. So the bonding in water involves covalent bonding. NaCl, sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. So this is ionic bonding. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium is a metal and oxygen is a non-metal, so again, it's ionic bonding. CH4, which is methane. Carbon is, is non-metals and hydrogen is also a non-metal, so this is covalent bonding. Carbon dioxide. Carbon is a non-metal and oxygen is a non-metal, so again, covalent bonding. Well done if you got 16 out of 16. If you think you need to learn more about ionic and covalent bonding, then please go and watch my teaching video. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.